and the inferior mirage. And you can tell that the boats, the inferior mirage is an angle because you can actually see the splashes inside the, well, inside the inferior mirage of the sky behind what would, you would class as the horizon. So you definitely know that the boat is on solid water above the, the, the perceived hard horizon. So it's quite clear that it's definitely, definitely behind the inferior mirage. And it disappears behind that. I've seen that many times, but does he acknowledge that? Is that in I their religion? That. You really, you acknowledge that, Carlos? Yeah, I acknowledge. Yeah, that might be the case. That might be the case. It doesn't it doesn't sh prove that the Earth is is not a globe, though. Well, talk over me then. Travis has another great example of that that uh, involves a oil rig. I don't know if you got that handy, Travis, but that's an excellent video. The one you were showing uh, yesterday. What about the videos showing uh, and photographs showing uh, uh, boats going over the curve? There is none. There's hundreds yeah. of them. No, they just appear to do that. They, n they never do. No, where, that's where do they go? actually what they do, is they actually go over the curve. And, and we have plenty of other, pl plenty of evidence of things being hidden or par partially hidden behind the curve no you see what yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. behind the atmosphere no it's behind the curve uh no how so well that would be a shape be a geometry problem and the problem for you is you can't measure drop from horizon on your shape yeah, you and we know we have atmospheric wow, conditions causing these things we've proven them we've shown them you just saw I one can't hear you and you're just denying it crowd noises in the background i can't hear you i'll let someone else explain it then we all know this y'all just deny it. well what is what is this i don't know i didn't hear him because there are crowd noises in his background i didn't hear him but the fact is the, the absolute fact is that we can show that objects uh, are partially obstructed and fully obstructed and you know by the curvature of the Earth, that's that's easy to show. But you can't measure it. Measure. You can show it, but you can't measure it. Yeah, you can measure it. You can measure. Well, they can can't show it. it either. They can show that it's obstructed by something. They're assuming it's curvature of the Earth. No, it's it's the curvature of the Earth. We know that. Yes. Right. And yes. We understand that why your do? assumption is that it's curvature of the Earth. Yes. Uh, no, it's not an assumption. Assumption. It's 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 math. So it, so it's real. So oh, it's math. So it's real. Yes. Yes. So it's an assumption. Math. Got it. No, it's not an assumption. Math is not an assumption. Math. Well, it is must objective. be because math can't prove reality. Uh, math corresponds to reality. So yes, you can prove things with math. No, that's not how it works. Yes, it math is. Math expresses yes, it is. an idea. It does no. not prove reality. Yes, it, yes, it does prove reality. So if I have three apples, no, it doesn't. And I add four more apples, then I have seven okay. apples. That's math. Uh -huh. That's math proving something in reality. Okay. All right. Here's the problem. No, you don't have seven apples. But I do. No, you if, don't. Yes, I do. If I have three Do you apples, have seven apples in front of you right me, now? You have seven me. apples Stop literally in front of you. Stop interrupting. If I have three Answer apples, the question. Do you have uh, Excuse me. I was talking. Right now. I was talking. If I have three apples... You don't. I, excuse me. If I have three apples and I add four more, then math tells me I should have seven. And that is what and I And you don't have. have those seven that's, in front of you right now. So math, math lied to you. That's math proving something in reality. No, it is not. That's math yeah, lying is. to you because yeah, you don't is. have seven apples in front of you right now. That's so it lies. Okay, okay, the math that. worked and it yes, lied. I do. Okay, hold but on. Wait a minute. If I've got Brenda, Brenda, if I've got if I've got three apples and I give uh, Bob across the road four apples, how many apples do I have? Uh, you can't give him four apples. But you can mathematically, though. Um, you would have a debit. You would owe him minus one apple. One, yeah. You would be minus one exactly. So. That's where does that equate in reality? Debit. In mathematics, you can do stuff, but in reality, it doesn't always work, does it? No, it it's works all, just fine. It works just fine, right? I, so I you believe can't, they, I believe in they actuality, actually... give Bob across the road four apples if you only have three. But you can not. This is one of multiple examples why this person should not be part of any conversations going forward until they are willing to accept reality. Well, I, 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 math does not make reality. reality. I understand. I understand things at a deeper level than most of you do, 
So th this is why you get frustrated because you get frustrated because you can't c understand simple things like how math works and how what its relation to the No, I get frustrated when people won't um, figure things out the way that they should quickly. That that's what frustrates me. That's all. Well, well, well somebody you mean agree with, with that. Hold on, hold on, brother. Retro Bill says uh, he says interesting to note that those arguing for truth are the same folks who claim that science doesn't prove things. Oh, uh, the irony. Uh, Oh, well, the science, irony. Yeah, the, the, the proper way to think about that is science doesn't make deductive uh, proofs. Uh, the deduction is, is, a, is in logic and mathematics. So because science is based on empiricism, it gives you probabilities and likelihoods. So it gives you the likelihood of something being true, but not certainty. Well, it was definitely not true that I gave Bob four apples. So science gives you... Um, uh, degrees of confidence. Design, uh, science gives you degrees of confidence and probabilities and not no, absolute no. deductive truth. Tru tru no, no, Brenda. Maths told you that I gave Bob across the road four apples. That's what maths told you. Uh, no, it didn't tell me that. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Because you have a debit of one. You are minus one apple. No, it didn't tell me any such thing. Yes, it did. It tells me that it tells me Wait, what it Matt tells didn't me. Wait, tell you is, anything? It what it tells me is that you owe Bob an apple. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. It yes, says it minus does. one. Brother. That's what it means. If it, right? No. Yes, now now if you're I interpreting give, it. If I, I, yeah, you it tells me that you exactly. couldn't have. Now you're interpreting maths. No. Well, that's all we do is with math. Is it math? Is that means it can't be proving reality because it required interpretation. Uh, uh, math corresponds with reality it doesn't prove reality. it does not prove reality proofs, proofs within that's mathematics, right proofs within ma mathematics are deductive and and statements within science and reality are inductive they are different systems of 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 uh inference there's deductive inferences so do you and agree that math does not prove reality uh actually you can make deductive uh claims about reality based on math given certain sets of assumptions yes we're not we're not talking about making claims we're not talking about so uh if making if assertions I, based on yeah. uh close to or yeah, that's, probable that's or science, anything like that all we're, that's what all all we're discussing is. is can math prove reality that, that's just an incoherent statement so what math can do is tell you what is most likely to be true and what is certain to be true within a certain system of thought so if I know okay, that so the, if I know the, that the that whole phase, has what is three likely apples to be and he gives Bob not four apples, reality. then I can know that Ranty owes Bob one apple. Likely to be true is not the same as is true. Okay, a actually it is. Those are not actually equivalent. It actually it is. No, they aren't. No, that's, okay. that's not true. So that's once not true. again, this is one of multiple reasons why you should not be allowed in conversation no, this is until actually, you're willing to accept reality. This is actually the, one of the prominent uh, uh, epistemologies in it. Whatever Travis, authority it is you're appealing to, I reject it. This is one of the prominent th uh, epistemologies. It's called fallibilism. It means you don't have to have absolute... Holy... Mute yourself, Travis. Ranty, can you mute Travis? He's got a really hot. Oh, he's it's done it. called fallibilism. It means it means that we don't have to have absolute conf tr confidence in order for, for us to have true knowledge, right? Right. So Whoever made that decision, knowledge is and cert uh, certainty is not knowledge, which is what a lot of people seem to. Whoever made that decision think. is wrong. So what you're saying right now well, is incorrect. That's, that's, it's that's not, not a true. standard and it's not established. That's not true. It's it's actually uh, uh, been a, a thing in philosophy you would learn on day right. one. Right. I reject whatever authority you're appealing to right now for that to become a standard. I reject that. So you'll need to use something no, else. No, you reject well, what the your idea. Standard? You reject what's your the standard? Idea standard but how do you get to prove things? My standard is the five senses that we all have in common if we aren't handicapped, the things that are the only standard we can rely on. Touch, taste, smell, hearing, sight. You can't rely on your right, senses. But that, that, gives you, that gives you certainty personally. But if you're asking... Reality. It gives hang, me certainty in reality. No, it doesn't. Anything hang on. Hang on. Can I finish, can I finish the point? Reality. That, that gives you... Uh, certainty personally, but if you're asking to prove things, 
then that's sort of external to yourself. You, you, that you need to be able to offer something so that somebody else can, can have that certainty. Right? Yeah, and, and just Google, one who is just trying Google to whether or not would need to provide one of those sensors. Right, right, so I'm asking you what your, what your process would be. If you were trying to, if you were certain about something that you'd personally experienced, how would you get okay. me to be certain about it? I would come, I would find a way to show you using one or more of the five senses that you have so you can detect it yourself. So the only way to know, know some, for something to be proven is to personally experience it. The only way for you to know something absolutely is reality is for you to experience it with one or more of your five senses. Otherwise, you are basing your belief on somebody else. That's not knowing what reality is. That's basing your belief on somebody your else. Senses can okay, so you. your senses can deceive you. Right. You I have, have no idea if my senses have ever deceived me in my entire life. So you would have to have prove that. Have you ever that. been drunk? Show me one of my five have senses. Have you ever been you drunk? Let me convince me. Before have we go on to my senses. No. Before we move on to the I senses, I'd like to just say something. Let me say something on mathematics before we move on to the senses. So when people are saying, if you actually... Math. You don't understand. Hang math. on, hang on. I know, I know you have to interrupt. I know you have to interrupt because you're uncivil. So let me just get this out. Uh, so if you Google or you try and look into the official definition of mathematics, you're going to come to this. Mathematics has no generally accepted definition. Different schools of thought, particularly philosophy, have put forth radically different definitions. All proposed definitions are controversial in their own ways. So you're going to sit here and say math proves that. What is math? Numbers? Thought experiments? Ideas in your head? Quantify what mathematics is to me before you go telling me what it can do. Because the, the people who write these books don't even agree. That's not who even a good enough ask of her, th that person. It has to be quantified in a way that everyone agrees on as a standard. You can quantify it for yourself. You can say math is this, and that's true for you. That can be what math is for you, because math is an idea, and you can no. decide what it is to you. Well. You can't decide on other things. For example, one of the five senses, you can't decide how someone is going to feel something. Okay, physically with their senses. You yeah. can't decide. But we how use our senses to read mathematics. Yeah, so, so the fact is you that, see that, them. that yeah. our, They're written our senses you. are you not reliable them. indicators of truth. You can see the math on the paper, and I'm not. It, the, the only problem would be like if you're saying that that somehow shows that it's not real, but I'm not claiming that math on paper is not real. I didn't make that claim. You can literally see math on paper. That's fine. And I didn't claim and, otherwise. And with a I'm set of apples, math. try this. I've got two apples. You've got two apples. We put them together. We get four. That's a mathematical construct right there. No, and it a, tells you something about reality. reality. It, it determines have something apples, about reality. We didn't put them together math and we don't is, have math four. So the math works and reality didn't match it. Uh, math but does we work. just did it. I'd we like just, to we just did it with that. Okay. I don't know. He's, he's proposing a hypothetical where you do have the apples. Right. So he, right. he's, he's, operating, he's operating within the hypothetical. No, you can't first, accept can't the hypothetical at the start and then yeah, reject it because you're not in the hypothetical. The Flurf, point the is that can't the hypothetical, understand the math so problem too much did not power. prove reality. It proved a theoretical it reality. a hypothetical and math problem. For. It wasn't We're not a gym. What is, what, is, uh, what is two, two unicorns plus two unicorns? Too many people are talking. What is two unicorns plus two unicorns? What is two unicorns plus two unicorns, Brenda? It would be four unicorns. Is that a representation of reality? Uh, no, it's just, it isn't. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> How about two no. uh, rainbows plus two rainbows? How about uh, no, that? No, pull what, it back. What's the point of this silliness? Um, it, it's wordplay, it, and it's, math, but, yeah. but it's sophistry, oh, it which is what show anything. Uh, excel in. Is math sophistry. can't show anything. Is that what math can saying? show anything. That's what I'm saying. It can show anything you want it to. You just have to come up with the right parameters for the math problem. Math can show anything, so That's we can't not use it actually proof true. for anything. Yeah, there's a lot of things yeah, that can't I don't think anybody's done. using it as proof, are they? Yeah, you use it when you I fill your car up with within petrol. Math. When, within math, when you say there's curve because of a formula, curves. you're saying okay. because of math. No, well, we say the curve right. is physical, so, and we describe listen, it with because, because we measured it, and it was right, curved. Right, right, so we've got um, we've got digital demon who keeps uh, trying to talk, and we've got Jaffa, and both of them getting over talk. So can we just hear a little bit from those two guys for just a second? Okay. All right, go ahead, digital demon. 
Yeah, cheers. Uh, so when you go and fill your car up at the petrol station, does that not use a mathematical calculation to work out how many litres or gallons you put in plus the money value for you to get the right money to pay for it? Am I answering this? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Go ahead, uh, Bob Dog. Okay, you're uh, talking about going to the gas station and you are filling up your car. Doesn't the numbers on the machine represent reality of how much you put in your car? Can I, can I of make course. a one-time statement real quick, Randy, to answer that? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, Jaffa, you have a go as well. Please, go ahead. Math is just a language, and you're proving it by saying all these things and saying, well, I got $3. Well, you could, you could write the number three, or you could spell it out if you want to. Yeah, math is a, is a language, right. It's Everybody a language. knows that. It doesn't prove anything. You have to either no, it, manipulate it, it things, or use it, it proves to, things to within prove the parameters. what you want to prove. It proves things within the parameters that you give it, right? Depends that on you what. give it. You have to give it, though. It can't do anything on its own. Okay, well, well I have no, another. I have it's a, language. Hold on, I have language a, I have a, it's like saying English doesn't do anything on its own. English doesn't exactly, do anything unless exactly. you talk. It's like literally sitting here saying English proves the globe or proves anything. English doesn't prove anything. So right. when I what when I say, saying, hold on, when I say with when nice I say language, measurements. Hold on, Jeff. So so I'm speaking language now. I'm speaking English. So if I say I know that the Earth is flat, you would disagree with that, even though it's a language. Yes, because I would need to see your evidence. Do you have any evidence for the Earth being flat? Exactly. So this do you? is exactly you do literally you? you're literally doing our point right yeah. now. Yeah. Do you have the English evidence? language isn't maths? Is you're, literally, you're literally you're, you're literally, literally proving, proving the point. Yeah. Proving the point by what you just said. Where, where's your evidence, Ranty? Where's your evidence? The, math the, uses the, symbols, the, correct, Brendan? Ranty. Where's Matthew your Matthew evidence, Ranty? Symbols. He just Matthew, gave you Randy, enough, I know uh, evidence you could show it. Matthew's a language equation that proves it. Let's Matthew's not get off on the example that was used to prove the point. Let's stay on the actual point, which is that the math cannot by itself prove anything about reality. It's a and language to express ideas. Exactly. Hang on, I need to field it. Yeah, that's, Bob that's just Matthew, a trivial Matthew's point. Symbols, that's a trivial point that's like, you know, you know I, I prove things with math. We can prove things Ma with math. There you go. You can, no, you, you, can, you can claim that. You can yes, claim we that can. You want, we can Brenda. prove things with math. Yeah. You can, just show, you can claim answer, that all you are already showing. Matthew's the symbols, correct, Brenda? Uh, yeah, Actually, so, if you're, yes, if you're getting... Does. That was to Brenda. You cannot math. have language without math. You can't have a letter A without a number one. Matthew's symbols, correct, Brenda? I can oh, actually. God, I how many times? Gary, you yeah, make your point. Everybody speaking, right? So I want to hear from Face One and Jaffet for a minute. Okay, so let these two guys, because they're both trying to speak. So let's see what these two come up with. Does Matthew use symbols, Jaffet? Of course. Do symbols represent reality? No, they 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 represent no. what what else, each symbol represents something. It's not it's an idea. Actually, symbols do represent. So it can represent things. Symbols represent reality. Yes, they can. Sure. So what oh does the letter goodness. A represent? You see this? Yeah, notations on a map, for instance. This is yeah. what I'm saying. What yeah, does the cross represent? Proving, you, the more you talk, the more you're proving that it's just the language. You have to use it, and then yeah, you can say you're proving whatever you want. There's nothing language. wrong with saying that math is a language. Uh, nobody nobody uh, disputes that. So then right. everybody agrees here that math doesn't prove anything because just substitute no, the people, word People Chinese. use math to, to prove When you things. say just substitute Chinese when you want to say math. No, for, people, for the next people use seconds. mathematics. And try to make sense of what you're saying. People use point, actually, it, doesn't, it doesn't work because within a mathematical system, within a work, Chinese you're... system, we'll say it again. Within a Chinese, are you just going to talk over me? Are you going to make this point? Are you, are you going to ignore what I say and just make? No, I'm point? responding to what you said, but you're yeah, not well, letting me because Chinese, you're going to talk over me like a child. No, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother if you're just going to talk over me. No point. I'm going to let you go. I want to hear Chinese. Right. Okay, well, so, in the meantime, whilst you do that, let me just, let me just shout out Retro Bill. Take, everyone take a deep breath. If math is describing a reality that may be imagined, then couldn't the same math also be imagined? Uh, math is, is something that people made up. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Just like English. And what about English, language, Brenda? English, English is something people made up. 
But what yeah. about the wall, Brenda? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I said, what about the globe, Brenda? Uh, the globe is a physical reality. It's not made up. No. You can't derive literal truth or literal reality from things that are made up. But we could say uh, that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Brenda's whole yes, life can. is that. You've yes, got to you understand can. she actually thinks that is perfectly acceptable. Right. That's, that's what we're okay, hang on. Instead Brenda of has no place in a logical a conversation story. if they won't accept reality. It is. I do accept yes, reality. I agree. It, it's amazing how much time no, you spend you trying to stop other people from being in this conversation. I wonder why. Oh, no, no, no. It's do. not that I, I want them to not be here. It's that I want them to either improve themselves to the point of being logical or quit bothering us with their oh. illogical the, um, I don't know, I, meandering. I, I, I so actually, basically, the, everyone here should agree with you, is what you No, mean. not with me, with logic. I, so, I don't care so, if you agree with me or not. So, so point I'm out actually, where people are being illogical. Okay, well, just I, what, I, want to, I want to give Jem Panda a, a minute or so to respond, because there's been a lot of flat earth speaking right now, so Jem, if you've got something to say, you've got a minute here. Uh, I'm not really sure where, where we've got to, but I, I think that, it, well, maybe I can move it on this way. Maybe people will ignore it. But I think if you if your standard of, um, of of proof, I think was the word you used, is your personal experience, can you know things to be true that you haven't personally experienced? Or what what would you describe your position is on something that that you know of but you haven't personally experienced? Is that directed towards the real me, the real Bob Dole? Yeah, sure. Okay. So uh, I guess maybe an example, like the, the country of Japan, right? Okay. Right. I've never been to Japan. I've never seen Japan with my own eyes. I cannot know for sure, like absolute truth wise, that Japan exists. I have no could way you, to express that to anybody else. Okay? Could you be, could I you have a, know could it. You, you never met anybody from Could you Japan? have a... Let, let could him you, finish. Let him finish. Could you have a ninety yeah, percent? Could you have a ninety percent degree of confidence that Japan exists? He's not. I can know. Brenda. I can know for sure in my own mind that it exists to the extent that I am willing to operate under the impression that it exists. However, I do not have the right to obligate or force anyone else to accept that it exists. Based on the fact that I accept the evidence. Yeah, yeah. Could I you have? have could right. you have just a degree of confidence that Japan exists? Anybody just can have a degree this. of confidence about anything. Yeah. That is but knowledge. You, that is knowledge. Right. Yeah, I agree. That is accurate. I, I don't disagree with right. that. Right. Yes, so you I, can that's, know. That's so you can know mm -hmm. that Japan exists with degrees of confidence. Yes, welcome, I welcome agree with that. And without personally experiencing it. Did you have yeah. to use math to find out that Japan I think, existed? I think um, we're in the same place are math. epistemologically then. I think my point I is that I you. can't claim that Japan exists is absolute physical truth in reality based on me doing a calculation and math saying, oh, the land seems like it should be there or somebody showed me this video and these pictures, I can't make the claim of absolute truth or absolute reality based on that because well, I haven't been there yeah. myself. Yeah, but you, you would agree, be. I think, that you can't make the claim of absolute truth in reality about anything that you haven't personally experienced, I think is what... Right, I think. yes, Yeah, exactly. this goes back to what I said before, that science gives us degrees of confidence, not absolute truth. Thank you. Welcome right. to Global well, Let me, let me say this. Science on, establishes a cause and effect relationship. That's all. Um, before... Uh, that's not, uh, so degrees, not degrees there, there are no degrees of certainty, okay? You don't have a percentage of, of truth. Let me, come that. on, Brenda. I got Brenda, let me, I sat and listened to everybody speak. I speak five words and you I jump in. You're, this is why nobody wants you here. This is why nobody wants you here, Brenda, because not only do you offer nothing, but you can't control yourself. So now you just derailed my train of thought because that's what you're fucking here for. Good, good. So here, let me, so I'm going again. So you don't have degrees of certainty. It's not like, well, I'm 37.65% sure the sun is going to rise. No. So there's knowledge, which you have accumulated through direct observation. Then you have logical possibilities. That's it. Okay? Now, if you said, well, there's That's Santa Claus true. and he flies around, let me finish, you cow. So I would be like, okay, Santa Claus, not logical, right? I wouldn't put a percentage. Well, it's 0.1%. It's not logical. 
if you said there's people upside down under your feet, right? And the earth's the ball, it would be like, not logical. Not possibilities or no pot. That's just not logical. If you said Japan exists, I'd be like, there's a place just like this, but there's like kind of a different little people. And that's logical. Logical. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, you, you have knowledge, which the is through the, the uh, direct, hang on, not done. I'm almost there, Brenda. You just got to hang on 10 more seconds. You have knowledge, which is the direct observation through information, through your senses. Then you have logical conclusions, which you can gather from those. And then you have everything fucking out. There's no degrees so, so of right, certainty. Right. Oh, so no. right the hand, right the hand. <laughs> Right, the hand. If I roll a pair of dice, can I have degrees of probability about what numbers will come up? Yeah. Now you just changed it from probability to, uh, from uh, well, certainty can, to probability. I can so you know. Just, you, nice, nice I can know. I can know which numbers are more likely to come up. Brenda, than others science due to probability. is not statistics. Statistics. It absolutely and is. What are you are talking two about? Statistics is You're, one of the most widely used systems in mathematics. You're it's, right, but it's it, not it, science. It's science. You're saying that yeah, science in math is mathematics, statistics. not science. You're saying science, science uses statistics. statistics all the time. What are you talking about? And they're wrong all the time. They Brenda, if no. you would no. shut up and hear one, not I, I, literally, I, I make one sentence at a time. One, and it's it's saying you said science is statistics. That's what you're claiming. No, I said science no. I didn't say that. I said science uses statistics. Oh, well, repeat mm. what you said. Science is. No, uh, that's not what Science is testable, repeatable uh, predictions. Cause and effect relationship? Uh, no, it's just testable, Maybe. repeatable predictions. So it has nothing to do with your probability factors. Um, probability is, is, a, uh, is a mathematical discipline that is used within the sciences. Okay, then we agree. Because before you were just saying that science gives you these statistics that they, yes, they are it does the same use thing. statistics yes it does but they're not the same thing i didn't say they were if i say something uses something that's not saying they're the same thing that's that's the first time that you mentioned what science that's the scientific method before you were saying science gives you probabilities yeah, of everything. yeah science is repeatable it testable does. predictions no, that, that's only not ever gives you different, degrees of definition. It doesn't prove things. Science, you can say science, whatever. Are we talking about the scientific method, or are we just saying what science is? Because the word science just means knowledge. If we're saying, if we're talking about language, or are we talking about the scientific method? It depends you what you're saying. Science, science, science. Depends. You're just saying knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. I don't. When you say certain things, you have to substitute these words because you're not sure what they mean. So no, knowledge, no. Okay, so. Lower okay. knowledge, is not the same. Not knowledge is not the same thing as certainty. That's where a lot of people, uh, not just flat earthers, but a lot of ordinary people get mixed up in is they think that knowledge has to be certainty and knowledge doesn't have to be certain. It can simply be degrees right. of confidence and probability. Degrees of confidence or degrees of certainty. <laughs> No, oh, it's whatever, that's not true. You can true. say however, degrees of confidence is the same right. thing as saying degrees of certainty. Yes. Can you have knowledge something's a lie? Yes. Are you certain of it? You can have knowledge that yes. something is a lie. That's yes. your question? Mm. Yeah, something mm -hmm. is a lie if it leads to a contradiction. Yes. And I can know with certainty oh. uh, uh, about a contradiction. Contradiction like something going over a curve that moves. Hold on. If you falsify something, are you 100% certain if it's been falsified? Um, yeah, I would have a very high yeah, If your null has been proven wrong, you have proved something. We just proved everything, Brent. Science a absolutely negative. proves. No, no there's things. a difference Which, between. Which, I don't think it does. I don't think science does absolutely. Yeah, yeah there's a difference things. between proving something yes, wrong. Yes, it will prove if something's wrong, definitely. something doesn't work. If you, no, if, uh, if yeah. you show that that is not what's causing that, you have proven. No, that yeah. doesn't no, work. Actually, no, 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 science no, definitely no, that's not how proves. It, that's not well, how it works. You can say, put it like that, but I would say that it, it, it can disprove things. It can show you that yeah. something isn't that's true, well, but yeah, it can't so show you. It can't it's show still you. proving something, isn't it, Jim? So well, we can have you can't prove a negative. Isn't it? Not yeah, really, no. That that isn't, well, yes, it's proving no. that that didn't cause that. Uh, you right. are proving it, that. All right, but it doesn't prove things to be true, let's say. Yes, because it's true that didn't prove that. Now, I can give you a good example. <laughs> it's I can, I it's can true this. that you've can, proven something wrong. Uh, I, I can give you a good you know example. I mean. No, your 
you're playing I, with words. You guys right, play right. with words. I, I can give right. you a good explanation. For, I can give you a really good explanation for this. So if I say, if it rains, the street will be wet. The street is not wet. Therefore, it has not rained. I can know with certainty that it has not rained. No, the street might be covered with a... Um, a tent Anything, or something. just a cover. Yes. No, no, the street is not wet. It could have been really hot wet. outside and it evaporated no, no, within 10 minutes. Exactly. No, you the cannot. Is not wet. No, Brenda, that is so stupid. No, it is. It is. We can know for you certainty just, that it has You're just ignoring rain. anything else that could no, be happening. No. No, you don't Pick get another to add, example. That was a terrible no, example. No, it's, it's actually textbook example, right from textbooks on, on, on scientific method. If, if, if it rains, the street will be wet. It is not wet, therefore it has not rained, and we can know that with it, with certainty. That's your textbook example. Oh my I'll God! No, you can't. That's the the literally a textbook yes. example. Let's literally textbook. Yes. Yeah. If that's in a textbook oh or in that book. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So <laughs> if, if, if you if you read a book if you read a book and it was trying to give you knowledge and it went if the street's wet it rains if the street's not wet. What is my neighbor not without what I said. Sh not what I said. spraying you, his car, not... washing his car, and the street's wet? Oh, fuck, it's just rained. The, the that's street's not, wet. Brenda told point. me if the street's wet, it means it's rained. But that's yeah. the point. Yeah. How yeah. fucking yes, stupid that's the point. are you? But, but that's, that's the point. The point, the yes, point is, is. There, could be, there could be other causes of it being wet, but the most likely mm. one, the most probable one, the one with the greatest degree of certainty, is that it rained. That's the point. Well, you can't, well, you no, can't show... Well, no, because if you live in a climate yeah, where it hardly ever rains, that your next-door neighbour washes his car once a week, then your certainty, right. your probability would be that your neighbours just wash right. his car. Right, of course. Of course, you would, so have, a no. different, you would have a different yeah, set of probabilities so in that situation. You would have a different set <laughs> oh of probabilities God. in that situation. No, no, so that's 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 Speaking generally, in this analogy page, for most people, when they experience a wet street, it's usually because of rain. Yeah, but that's not the soliloquism that I used. The, the, in, this, in the example I gave, the street is not wet. And therefore, Absolutely we can know it has see. not rained. Therefore, we can know it has not rained. Right. That's philosophy. No, that's, that's, that. that's logic. That's logic. You can be sure of that, but that doesn't make it true. It might be no, your logic, true. but it it's not absolutely true. normal this is people's logical logic. Proof, logical deduction. No, no, no what I'm saying is you can be sure that it hasn't rained, but that doesn't make it true that it hasn't rained. No, it, it makes it true that it has not rained. We can know, and we can know that with okay. certainty. Everyone no. just heard what they just said, right? What Brenda just said, they, everybody heard that. They should not be in... Any conversation yeah. involving logic. You no, know, this is this is they logic. shouldn't be this allowed until they're logic. willing to accept reality. This is this is in fact modus tollens, <laughs> which is what uh, Nathan Oakley uses to attempt to prove that I that reject the earth is your not a globe. appeal to authority. It does not so, matter. So, do you reject modus tollens? Is that it? Yes, no, absolutely. You reject your appeal to authority. Yes. On if what there's grounds, whatever that, that is that no you're talking about, I reject it as an authority. <laughs> have to reject it. It's not an authority. It's logic, dude. The thing that you keep ranting on about. It, it's, if, if it's logic, the, then you shouldn't it, need to name it logic. like that. It's, it's a logical syllogism. Logic doesn't need to have a special yeah. label. It's so is it logic or is it whatever you were talking about? Well, it's if lots P, of then Q, in logic have not labels. Q, therefore not P. That's modus tollens, <laughs> and that is a deductive proof. And Nathan Oakley used. Okay, I got one. Here, I got one. I've never seen people. Up logic, hold hold right on, hang on, hang on, Brenda, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Oh, yes, let me let me, let me just get yep. my logic out. Let, let me get this out. Yeah, I've go never for seen. It. I've never seen people upside down under my feet. So Earth can't be a ball. Earth requires Therefore, people to be upside down under my feet, which I never see. Earth can't be a ball. There you go. Yeah, yeah that logic. was not nice. even close to a logic uh, proper. No, exactly the same thing that you did, Brenda. Literally. If you think that, Paige, I feel sorry for you, really. Oh, my God, Jim. Can't you see the... the you are fucking see kidding what? me. If the street's not wet, it hasn't rained. If, right. there, if there are people upside down, then there aren't people upside down. Like, What's the logical contradiction in people being upside down? Yeah, no shit. What, what is the contradiction? Crickets. 
Who said yes, there was a contradiction? Explain. No, there's not crickets. You there would know need by, to be, you wouldn't know there? For it, to be, for it not to be know, logical, there would need to be a contradiction. And you that know by... There's no contradiction you know, in people being antipodal. Oh my God. It, it, there's no contradiction in people being yes, antipodal to me. Yes, there is. Your senses, What's the contradiction? Your senses tell you. Your senses tell you. I know when I'm upside you. down. The fuck? You can't hear me? But the, but the claim isn't that you're upside down, Paige. You should really understand this. No, I know. I know. It's an even more ludicrous claim. The claim oh, is that people are like no, Just not. like Jim. Jim, just like the ludicrous claim that Nat Geo had that check, piece check, of paper check. with the stripes go behind the curve, yeah. yet the Who water cares? behind that Who paper cares, was higher Who in cares? the background. But they're all cheering and saying it went over the curve, the bunch of fucking well, morons. Who cares? I don't care about that. Who cares? That's your proof, Jim. It's not my proof. I would never Your ever side. use. The, use I would it never as ever use the word. Something's gone over. They don't I even realise the never. water behind that was higher. How fucking embarrassing! You've Do got you Nat that Geo. Again? Are you People say from Nat Geo go. Yeah, say it again. It's say gone again. over the curve. We didn't get it the first time. Are you going to say That's it again? A fucking moron. Tell us about Nat Geo and how it was higher. Say it again, Paige. Stop me from responding. Well, obviously, uh, you, your was, side uh, hasn't realised. You're that fucking dumb. You didn't see that the water behind it was higher. And no. you're all cheering that it's gone over the uh, curve. I, what are you I wrong never with cheered, you people? Paige, I never cheered. I never said it was proof of anything. I don't care. It's irrelevant. It's a bit of television. Who cares? Oh, it's not irrelevant. It's very relevant to this conversation that people think... A All little right. bit of water yeah. obstructing something we definitely, means something's gone behind the curve when it's so obvious it hasn't. We definitely formulated our ideas about the Earth being a globe based on this bit of National Geographic TV. Definitely. That makes sense, Paige. I didn't say that, Jim. Right. I so said you guys use it so it's as not, part of it, your proof. So I, right. Again, I have never used the word proof, and I have never referred to this, this observation ever. So uh, I, so oh, I have not used it you. as you part of my. You might actually be one of the smart ones on your side, then, Jen. If you don't bring this up, no, don't it's bring fucking any embarrassing. Of this it's, ridiculous. it's embarrassing that grown adults can watch that and actually think that thing has gone behind a curve when you can see it hasn't. It's embarrassing How that grown adults think it, it's embarrassing that grown adults think it's significant in some way. Your side thinks it's. When have you ever heard anyone from our side refer to that? When? Name a person. Professor Dave. <laughs> no, I've I heard think many he of your side I don't think he saying things go over. Yeah, Brenda just come in before saying things go over the curve. I hear you like going on about it all the time, but I've never referred to it. Exactly. Uh, we, we refer to uh, 15 degrees an hour. By Bob the, the Noodle. You Noodle. referred to things going over the curve, you lying bitch. You come yeah, in saying Yeah, they that. do all the time. We've got hundreds and hundreds of photographs of objects disappearing. Yeah, and I'm pointing out one where it's obvious you're lying. Oh, that doesn't okay, prove how anything. Okay, how about, how about, why have we never, ever, ever, ever seen, seen from a satellite uh, buildings that are upside down? Oh, come on. Serious question. Yeah. Um, because the the satellites at that at that point would be facing would, would be oriented to towards the surface of the Earth. Yeah, because they're not <laughs> far enough away, Randy. If someone they're not always actually far enough. If you were far enough thing. away, if you were far enough away to see the whole thing, you wouldn't be able to see a building, would you? Why not? Then oh, why? Because, how can we see things that are billions of light years away? Because the Earth. If they like, can't zoom in on a fucking building. How are they right. zooming in on something that's a billion light years mountains. away? Because Stop entire ranting mountains are little like bumps. a lunatic. It's a good point, though. How what, are like you? you no, it's before? not a good point, Ranty. It's a stupid point. It is point. a great point. It's, it's something point. I would have said. It's exactly something I would have said. Okay, so what thing are they zooming in uh, Zooming in on billions of miles? Well, the oh, oh, the right. black oh. hole that they took a photo of? Um, they don't just zoom in on it. They don't zoom in on it. That was not a photograph. They can see it. That was not a photograph. They say they can see it, Jim. Well, that was not a photograph. Think collect. about it. You Nobody can't knows how far see. Am I allowed to speak ever? Are you just going to yes, keep go ahead, Jim. Go ahead, Jim. Let Jim speak, guys. Right, you're looking at the entire diameter of the Earth, which is, what, I can't remember what it is, 8,000... 
Thirty-nine fifty-nine. No, that's the radius. Oh. So it's, it's going to be about eight thousand miles across, isn't it? And you're expecting to see a building that's a few hundred feet across. That's that's similar. It's a, an analog, a, analogous situation might be looking at a mountain and expecting to be able to zoom in on a bee that's no, no, that's know, wrong, Jim. on a flower on the side of the mountain. The it's diameter obviously earth, not possible. The diameter of the Earth makes absolutely no uh, difference whatsoever to what you would see from a camera that is floating out in outer space. Yeah. Hold you on. can look at the top or you can look at the bottom of the ball. The camera is. So, it has so, nothing to do with the diameter of the Earth. Well, because you're trying to see, you, you want one viewing instrument that can see something 8,000 miles across and something 300 feet No, across. they don't have to see the whole ball at once. Why can't they zoom in on, like, this? The, the thing's way, way away from the Earth. They zoom in on the top and show you the buildings that way up. Then they point the camera down and zoom in on the bottom and show you the ones that way up. <laughs> well... If, if, if they could do that, and I still think... Yeah, I if they could. Hang on. Can I just finish, Paige? Yeah, let him, let him, let him, let him finish. If they could do that, and I think it's pretty absurd, the idea that they could from that sort of a distance. I think it's but, absurd too, yeah. Well, you're talking about, you know, being sort of 25,000 miles away and being able to see something a few hundred feet across. I think that's absurd. Well, people have, people have, for instance, matched they uh, images. They, do, they say they see me. those kinds of things from Earth. I was talking, the, Paige. Excuse who me. says that? Excuse me. I who don't says, care. <laughs> what, who um, says so what kind so of people thing? have? You're so supposed to be able to see the ISS. You're supposed to be able to see all these other satellites. Right, and then the satellite satellite little bars that they can away, see from the ground. But then they're saying they can see stars and stuff that are billions. Like, if you put that into scale, you'd be looking at a pinhead from... No, fucking no. 10, 10 miles away. You can see stars. In comparison. Stars. What's wrong with seeing stars that are millions of light years away? And, and massive. So what people can do is, is they can compare images taken from, say, for instance, the Himerari and, and see that there is a, a forest fire going on in an area and then they go to that area and they find out, oh, yeah, there is a forest fire going on right now. And that confirms that the image from the Himerari was, in fact, taken uh, of the Earth live. Do you know that the images from the Himerari and the images from Sophia match up? Uh, yeah, they match up. What? They correspond with reality. Mm, they're from the same source. They correspond to reality. No, 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 from the same source. They correspond to reality. No, 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 you're not listening. From the same source. You what can't... are from the same source, Paige? No, no, no. When no. they give... No, 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 no. Picture... What are? What are from the I'm same source? I'm telling you, Jim. But why are you saying no, 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 then? Why don't you let me finish like you wanted me to do for you? Go ahead. When they show pictures from the Himawari and from Sophia, some of them they have traced back to coming from the same... Not that they're taking a picture of the same thing, but the picture is actually from the same source to both different... I well, know you probably don't know that, Jim. Well, so they have take, they didn't, if I didn't know, I said I don't believe you. So if we take okay, if we well, take a Himerari picture, out, like the, if we no, take you, a you, you, made the claim, you made the claim. Show some evidence for it. Do you have any evidence? Okay, for just it? look at the last look at no, the I'm last day, the you truth video. Me. I'm on a fucking mobile phone, Jim. Oh, no, produce your evidence. Well, you, made you made the claim. You made the claim. Show it. Show it. Fingers Show it. And a brain. Show it us. Yeah. No, Show I just don't think it's my job to help you make your oh, argument. No, it's not your job to prove Paige. anything to yourself. Show it us. No. Show it okay, us. Okay, no, Show it us. You need somebody else to give you what you need to believe. Yes. You, need, uh, you need someone else to tell you. I understand that. Show it us. You make the claim, Show it us. I told you what here. to look at. Hey, Let me look it up for you. What do you want me to look up? And I'll Thank you. Well, right. the so, truth. so the, the claim is that the, so the claim. Wait, Brenda, please don't uh, speak it's over. a long video though, Ranty, and I'm not sure what time, what what time stamp they actually. I can look yeah. it up after I get off and. Right. Okay. So right. what's the name of the channel? 
Don't fear the truth. Don't spear. Don't fear. Fear, the truth. yeah, fear. Don't fear the truth. Right, okay. Yeah. And what's the channel? What's the video called? It's the um, 10 challenges for flat earthers completed, I think. Okay, right. Uh, it's, number, it's like number seven or number eight by now. Okay. Right. Yeah, but the claim that I made was that you. Can I remember seeing this a few years ago. Them talking yeah, about I, I Sophia guess, and you know, Himawari. If I'm talking, that means you should be talking, right? The so same the claim identical is, code source for these pictures that are supposedly taken by Himawari way, way, way out. That Sophia's taking them. The one that they have the exact same telescope inside Sophia as they do in the Himawari, and the pictures are coming from the same source. So, was, so what does that what does that prove? Can you not understand what that means? No, Brenda? I don't. I don't. I don't know what you're trying to say. Are that if the Himawari is getting pictures from Sophia, you don't understand what that means. No, I don't I know, know what that means. It's nonsense, Paige. I'll tell you why wow. it's nonsense. I'll tell you why it's nonsense because Sophia, but you haven't seen it, Jim. So you can't tell me why it's nonsense because you don't even know about it. I can tell so you why. You've oh, got no idea whether it's. Well, sure not, because you haven't looked into it yet. So right. don't tell me why you think it's nonsense when you don't I even know do anything it. about it. I can do it. Well, I do know, actually, something. No, you don't. Because you just admitted before you'd never page, heard of I, it. You'd never page, seen it. Let me speak, and you'll find out what I know about it or don't know about it. I you know. You told me you hadn't seen I, it. You I, didn't know I about it. I haven't seen it. Okay, so let and me now you're going to change your mind. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I haven't seen it. I still haven't seen it, okay? However, I do know that Sophia is a telescope mounted on an aeroplane. Aeroplane, yes. Right, and what it does is it looks out into space. Himawari is a... Is a a camera. Are you sure about hang on, that? Hang on. Is a camera mounted on the satellite in space which looks at the Earth. So there's no way and they would have it the same images. That's nonsense. And they do, Jim. So think well, about what they're that looking means. in different. Uh, one oh. looks at space. Then and they're stars, not. One are looks they? at the Earth. Don't talk nonsense. Besides, this is not the claim that I made. The claim that I She's made. So you're not even going to look at it, Jim. Look, Not even gonna... one is the, look, one is on an aircraft looking at, at yeah. space. Yeah. Right? So think about Himawari, what that means. If I'm yeah. correct, think about what it means. Think about what this means then. And the other one is on a satellite in space looking at the Earth, taking pictures of the Earth so then every it's 10 not, minutes. Is it? So how can they possibly have the same images? Exactly. They're not How going could to they have. possibly have the same images if they're pointing in different directions? They don't. They, they don't. couldn't. They don't. They do. I think probably, Paige, no, what you're don't. doing is you're probably mixing up um, Himawari with Hubble. And you're, and you're probably claiming that those two things have the same. No, Jim, yeah. you just showed oh, it on the screen. Coming back to me no, now, it said it, Himawari. I can't admit it because you've gone on about how little I know about it and how much you know he about it. He just showed it on the, the YouTube screen. It says Himawari. The video is an hour and a half long. Then there's balloon, there's balloon launches for, with resupply for Mia. Page, balloon launches. Page. Page, We're on to something video. else now. Notice we've quickly moved on to balloons now. Paige, the video is an hour and a half long. I'm just adding that in. I'm Page. not moving on. You can talk about whatever okay, you want. Right. Page, the video is an hour and a half that long. That Travis. Travis again. It's me. Sorry. It's Travis, I think. Sorry, sorry. Page, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> none of this is what I said. What I said is you can take... I a... don't care. I wasn't talking to you. No, I, actually, you were okay, responding. Let's... To what I had said before. I want to hear. No, from... I wasn't. I was giving yes, this information yes, to anybody were. else that's here. I couldn't give right, a fuck what you think, Brenda. Let's put this on. So we've got a couple of new guests. So Jenna, um, I believe you said you were not a flat earther before. Are you uh, able to say hello, Jenna? Hello. Right, okay. Is there anybody else that wants to discuss this uh, this subject about him? Worry. Yeah, if not, so I, I want to let make... these guys finish up. Yeah, I wanted to make my point clear, which we which we segued away from, which was that you can take an image from the Himawari showing that there is a forest fire, go to that place on the earth, and there and there is a forest fire. People did this, and that shows that the that the Himawari 
is is up there taking photographs of the real real earth how do you know but it doesn't show exactly where it is it doesn't prove it actually it where does. it is or how far no it doesn't no, it because... actually does it actually does no it doesn't yes it does yes yes it actually does it shows how? where. how does that prove how far away it is it shows it where just, the forest fire is language. it shows where the how does fire that is. prove how far away the picture well, was taken enough. from it, it shows it's that, the... Up away that it sees the whole earth yeah it takes an image of the entire earth visible from the himawari and so the fact that you can you can see things in the photograph and then go there and have it be true, that shows that the photographs are Doesn't correct. Doesn't prove how far away it was taken from. Nobody Still, can go. that's not the question. That's not the question. The question is whether or not... That was not, my question. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the question is whether or not Do, it is accurately depicting the curvature of the Earth. Can, can right. I point out the fact no, that somebody no, could hear on the TV... Like Curvature I mean, in a question. I mean, what the, the fuck somebody, you on, girl? Oh, my God. Somebody can hear on the TV that there's a fire in that area, and they could be an extremely talented artist and draw something that looks photorealistic that showing the fires and then put it online and say, see, this is proof that I yeah. took this picture from yeah, space. Like, that wouldn't that from doesn't here. prove that they went to space. Yeah, that a wouldn't come from Himawari. Himawari produces a 10,000... Uh, by 10,000 image. It's a photograph. It's not, it's not a drawing. And it comes from the Himawari. Right. It doesn't come from the internet. Every 10 minutes. minutes. That's not the point. Those are not photographs. Those are the internet images. isn't the point. No, they're, they're not. Yeah. They're not composite. Yes, they are. The point no, is that are. grabbing an image no, from anywhere, literally anywhere, and saying, see, look, this is proof that something else entirely is somewhere else entirely. It's not is from just not anywhere. It's not accurate. from just anywhere. It's not from just anywhere. It's from the Himawari. Right. I'm saying it doesn't matter where it's from. It, it doesn't does matter. matter. It could be from anywhere, and it still wouldn't matter. No, it can't be. It's not yeah, it doesn't just prove from anywhere. Where it, it is, is it's literally only proving it from can take a the picture. Himerari satellite. That's the claim that's that's being discussed, Brenda. That's the claim that we're saying. Yeah, that's the point. That we're not, we're no, saying no, the, 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 claim. the point is that we're it comes the from the Himerari, and we can verify that it, that what's in the photograph and what is the true is getting its by going from to the place that it indicated in the photograph right. and okay. seeing that what it shows what is in fact you actually is there. That's how we can show that it is in fact saying. taking photographs of the earth. That doesn't prove no one, that. Yes, it actually it does. One no one thing it's not taking. It, yeah. But for you, nothing can prove it, can it? Because for you, proof is personal experience. So you've got to be there yourself for it to be proof. However, it does give us a high degree of certainty. If we get in these images, they comport with what we see on Earth, and they're coming out every 10 minutes. Well, then I can I have think, a high degree of certainty that it's crap, because I've seen that the images from Sophia are the same. Oh, God. So it, then now I'm certain... Paige, if you're going to keep making this claim, you've got to allow us to be able to address it. And you're just saying it. You aren't showing us anything. And I don't Certainly believe... Is. I can't no. see how you think a, that a camera, a, a, a telescope that's pointed at space could end up with the same images as something pointed at Earth. And, and she referenced, she could referenced could a video the that's an hour and a half long. On, so you don't think they could no, fly no, the plane no, and turn it in a different like, direction? No, because it's at like... Really? Four, I'll explain why. It's at 30,000 feet, Paige. All you'd see... So? Is what, well, because all you'd can't see... Can't do a U-turn? Can I can't finish? Can I get a whole sentence out? You're without, being ridiculous. I just want to finish a sentence. That's not ridiculous. It is. Okay, you just well, keep saying talking. Saying they can't turn the camera around is ridiculous. Hey, it would, it would be at 30,000 feet. Himawari is at 25,000 miles. It would not look the same. Don't be so, silly. So how are they the same picture then? They aren't. You've got something okay. wrong. Okay, if you don't want to look at it, fine, don't. No, I want Doesn't you, to, I want you to demonstrate that what you're saying is true. Well, not she, send watch the video. Off. It will demonstrate it for you. Not she send me off. It's up to you to watch don't... the video, mate. Not it's send not up me... to me to sit there and spoon feed you. No, you have to, you no. have yes, to back it, it up. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Oh, no, it's not. I don't yes, know you. Is. I don't care about you. 
All right, we'll all just it's sit not my here. job at all. All right, we'll all just sit here making any old shit up that we want, and nobody will have to suspect. But you can verify that's what she wants to do. Then. Is my point? I, I don't the have earth, to spoon the feed earth, you. The earth, the earth's the globe. I've given you all the information well, the earth, you need. Well, the earth's the globe, though, Paige. So you're wrong. Hey, the Jim. Earth, the earth is if you want to, if you want to stay in your fantasy world, fine. Yes, the Earth globe. is a globe. The Earth is a globe. Yeah, Brenda hey, lives in hers. You live in yours. Yeah, the Earth's a globe. Yeah, you yeah, no, the Earth is a globe. globe. This hey, Jim. Make believe. Just, you still probably you play dress yeah, up yeah. and shit. The Earth is a globe. Uh, Earth on. is a globe. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Right, Face One Treble Eleven wants to try and get a word in. So, can we have um, something from him, please? I was. You, uh, Jim said that the Himawari is uh, twenty-five thousand miles out. I think it is something like that. How how did it get the backside of the moon then? On that infamous uh, Earth. That wasn't shot. the Hammerari. That was epic, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's epic. That's a million miles out. Could be wrong. Hmm. So, what about the fact that those aren't uh, actual photographs, that they're the composite images with data source plastered mm. on blue marble Do images? Do you know how your camera in your phone. Are you going to deny that? The yes, in your deny phone that. I will, does the I will same deny thing. it. I'll explain it to you if you like. Sure. Okay. What, what Himawari does is it, it takes images in a various different wavelengths. Some of those wavelengths are useful for showing things like um, uh, aerosols, you know, dust particles in the air, and they can track these dust clouds globally. Um, but those, uh, those channels that pick up that, all you'll see is the dust. So in order to give that image context, you need to be able to see where that dust is in relation to countries and oceans and things like that. And so for those images, they use um, the blue marble data set as a background for context. So you can see, so that data has some meaning to you. However, the, it shoots, I think in, I think it's 30 wavelengths or is it 11? I can't remember. Anyway, a number of wavelengths. And they use three of those, the ones that are closest to red, green and blue, to combine to make a, a full color image. Um, Why wouldn't they use their own photos of the Earth and put the data on that? Why are they using the blue marble? They've already because mapped out the weather for the next 100 years. Oh, Paige knows. Paige will answer. Uh, because the, the whole point of the blue marble, the reason why it's composite and it required 40,000 images to make, is it's because it's a represent, representation of the Earth with no cloud cover. So that's why it's really useful for something like this, because you can overlay that image on it and you haven't got any clouds in the way that are obstructing your view of where your, your dust cloud is or, or, whatever, or uh, you know, whatever it may be. It could be um, ocean plankton is another one that they can they have a, a, a wavelength that can detect uh, plankton in the ocean. So um, that's why they use, those, they use blue marble to overlay those sort of images on. But the full color images are, are full optical images taken in, uh, I mean, it scans like all digital cameras do. Um, and it, He's going to waffle on forever. Well, I'm trying to give a full explanation. I, it, I, well, I know it's can difficult try. for you to keep your mouth shut for very long, Paige, so I'll shut up. No, it's so been ages. So they do composite some images. On. So some of it's in composites using blue marble but it also takes real full color pictures. How do we know the difference? Well, they, well one is they tell you, and one is one's a real full <laughs> color. Well, hang on. Well, they tell you which, channel they, which channels they come from. You can see these um, things like dust clouds and things like that. And, you know, sometimes you'll experience this stuff landing on your car. That often happens in the south of England at certain times of year. Uh, dust gets blown up out of uh, the deserts in North Africa and finds its way over to the south of England and comes down as rain. So you can what? see that stuff. But um, the full color images... Dust comes are, down as rain? ...are full color. And these other ones that they, use, uh, that they overlay are not. They're, they're single channels that show... Uh, uh, single. I just have a Why question. do they use ground-based weather data and plaster it on? included in their composites. Why would they do that? Ground-based, I don't know, I don't and know. And weather data that they've mapped out for the next hundred years. How do you know, just, they, how do you know they're all dated? Hang on, hang on. How do you know they do that and what, what specifically do they do that for? I told you, because, I told you what to watch, Jim. 
You don't know what you're talking about, Paige. You say well, can you find out if I do hold or not. Hold on, hold on. Well, I'll, I'll, bet, bet, I'll bet you, I'll bet you a tenner right no, 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 now. No, no, don't bet. No, no, just Tom watch the video with him or Ari. Well, the video is Go an hour and a half long. The video is an hour and a half long. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so stop talking. Leave the call and go. Yeah. Work. Go and yeah, watch this just, great no, long video. No, we don't video. have to do your homework. Oh, Listen, just this for great quick. long Paige. video. Oh, you said yourself. Be scared, are we, Jim? Be scared no, we might I, find no, out. I just, I, just don't, well, I just don't see why I should make your argument for you. If you have got claims, you should support your claim. Oh, you say, oh, well, I, I have. I've, video. I've, I've um, told you Jim, the video is going to watch. No, the video is an hour and a half long. It's Shut definitely up. true because I saw it in some video. I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, every time you about video, some more than half long. In some video, oh, no. you do realise that. Oh, you do realise that taboo conspiracy. I think uh, repeated this, and he was able to demonstrate the same thing about the Himawari, or it might have been Geminism actually. That did Paul on the plane did it as well. Uh, yep. Ranty. Yeah, ranty. Yeah, this is why. Why, why did they have the Terminator line, Jim? He didn't read. He didn't read properly what was um, what he saw. He just jumped to conclusions. Oh sure, sure. Well, he did. I mean, he all oh, he had to God. do was all he had to do was read what the thing said. I mean, it, it identifies the channels that they use, um, and and actually but, note that he used doesn't even refer to him, Wari. It refers to Ghost Sixteen. I just Another have a quick question. Very convenient Jim. story. Well, you can yeah. tell. The reason you can tell as well is because the channels it names in in that little notepad paper, uh, Himawari doesn't shoot on those channels. However, Ghost Sixteen does. Da, da, da. Okay, listen. I want to hear from Travis. Travis is waiting to say something. Uh, yeah, just a couple questions because I'm not familiar with space photography. Jeb, you said that the is yeah, the breaking, result of breaking up, Travis. Yeah, you're breaking up. How about now? How about now? Right, go on. Better. Uh, okay, Jim, you said that the blue marble was made up of how many? I think they used. I think they used forty thousand in the original. Uh, okay, original and the thing. reason why is because they wanted to have a scene image without any. Yeah, because it's useful to have all the land masses with no clouds, right? Got it. Okay, got it. Got it. So, how many? Um, how many missions take to? To accumulate all those forty thousand. Oh, how many missions? Yeah, did they do it in one mission? Did they take all forty thousand? No, the data for the whole thing comes from, ooh, I think three satellites, but one of those is um, infrared and is doing the clouds. Oh, so, okay. So I, I was under the impression I was. Under it might be more. I think it's okay. three, though. All right, so I was under the mission uh, observation. Yeah, you, keep, you keep breaking up, Travis. We can't Okay, all right, all right. Never so they do take color photos of the entire Earth. It just so happens that for some purposes, they pull together composite images from multiple data sources. Yeah, because you want well, a really big. Oh, that's a whole new thing you've just introduced. What's that multiple? What? Oh, what you mean in in terms of the blue marble? Well, why not? What's wrong with that? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it, Himawari it, it, and Epic are useful because essentially they're weather satellites. That's the the well, they're let's say they're environment satellites. They're monitoring what's going on in the environment, so they're useful from that point of view. But having a satellite take uh, greater definition pictures close to Earth without any cloud cover, that's also useful, right? They're, they're different uses, but they're both useful. Funny. I'll post that video in the, uh, in the chat if I can upload it. So if the blue marble is used as the image of Earth, then what are they taking pictures of from Himawari? Why are, does that mean they're doubling up an Earth on top of an already photo taken photo of Earth? I think I just said that. They aren't. Remember, there there are no space operations ever at all anywhere that are trying to prove the Earth's a globe for flat Earthers. 
That is not ever a yeah, mission criteria. That, okay. But, but it is useful, as I said, to have uh, high definition images of all the land masses on Earth without any cloud cover. That's useful for a number of different things. And it's also useful to have a, a satellite out in space taking pictures of Earth very regularly so we can monitor um, a, a, a movement in the environment. So what's Himawari taking photos of then? The Earth? Uh, dust. Yes. Uh, storms. Yeah. Uh, fires. Earth? Things like it that. Just, it just takes photos of the Earth all the time. That's all it does. It just points at the Earth and takes pictures in a number of different okay. wavelengths that we can use but then they we, can, that. we can use to monitor various things about the environment. How long, do, how long does it take to get that data from the Himawari to the... Is it real time or... It sends an image every every ten minutes, and I think the new one I think can do every two minutes or something like that. Okay, so I, that, again, my question is: the transit time is ten to two minutes. No. Transit no. time. It, no. It's okay. So okay, it's, again, it's geostationary. Okay, so again, my question wasn't how many pictures does it take section like you said it takes a picture every 10 minutes that's not my question question was how long does it take to transfer the data to the earth if they're monitoring oh i don't know as long as it takes light to travel twenty five thousand miles not very long whatever that whatever that is not very I long guess, less uh, than a second less a second, than a second. Of, not even a second it's yeah what is it is it a second, one and three quarter seconds to the moon, I think? So a tenth of that, roughly, something like that. Yeah, it takes very little time. It would take very little time. That's why we can have live video from the ISS. So how do I tell the difference between one of their composites and the actual image? Does it say in the... Uh photograph or yeah do they it does okay i think they call i think they just call them full disk images or i can't remember they use different terms sometimes let's see if we can find it as i remember it wasn't abundantly clear when i went uh I, what I want to know is, what is it like thinking that the whole world is out to deceive you? And that must be terrible. I know. I know. What is it like? Oh, wow. You've got a vivid imagination. I always think it must be very depressing being a flat earther. Uh, I would think it would... I would think that it would, I would think that it would be very depressing thinking out it was gender. Huh? Uh, oh, no. I don't have any of those problems. They told you the truth from the beginning. It's a heliocentric model. Nobody lied to you. Oh, we're not discussing heliocentrism. You got a very, you got a very conspiratorial mind there, Brenda. We're not discussing heliocentrism. Are we? No, okay, no, of course so. not. We're talking about whether or not the Earth is a globe or not. That has nothing to do with heliocentrism. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not. Yes, it. No, nothing at all. Yeah, that's correct. Heliocentrism. Wow. Yeah, that's correct. You are literally insane. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah. Flat Earth is not heliocentric. No, Globe Earth isn't heliocentrism. The, the solar system... Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Oh, my God. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it could... Yeah, not now in this narrative. Yeah, so 30 it... years ago, 30 years ago when I was in school, it was heliocentric. Yeah. No. Nah. Well, that's a separate issue. Yeah, that's what I was taught issue. in school, too. We live in a heliocentric these. model. The globe, I bet you weren't. The Earth being a globe is not yeah, a heliocentric... Yeah, model. Heliocentric. They taught me. I, I, this is a model. Not yeah, reality. The, they yeah, told me from the watching, very beginning. You've been watching wrong. This is no. our heliocentric model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, they, didn't. they didn't tell me this is reality. So, no, you, you all just lied to yourselves. Models represent reality. They can. Yeah. And they can also represent a fantasy. Right. And, and I can it make happens, a Lego model. Yeah, it happens that the globe 
model represents reality. Yeah, that's what you want to believe. Nobody, no, no, nobody lied to you, though. It's actually true. It's a, it's actually you're a right, fact. Paige. Well done. Welcome to the globe. Mm, they told you heliocentric model. No, that's not heliocentrism. The globe model is not heliocentrism. No, of course not, Brenda. And you're not a man, really. Uh, a no, model is not. a simplified description of something, Paige. That's so all it is. The Earth being yeah. round. I, I think that Paige be. is getting confused. It can also it can also be something that is completely false. You can make right. a model of something right. that's completely made up. But we're not talking about, the, about that, are we? In the same way that we can take a well, photograph... Well, I am, yes. Hang on. In the same way that we can take a photograph of something and say, this is a real thing, or we could get someone to dress up as Santa and take a picture yeah. of that, and then we know that's yeah. not right. That you any, should know. Just, we're trying to show you, just but because, you refuse to see it. Just because so we I don't know, it, I can't answer for you. Just because we can take a picture of someone dressed up as Santa doesn't mean we should reject all images as if they are pictures of people dressed up as Santa, does it? That would be and silly. Just uh, that's we make it, we can false. make a further assessment based on, you, you know, many things. So oh, you're yeah. saying that there like, are true photographs of Santa? No, that's not what he said. No, I didn't say anything of the sort. Don't be silly. So say it again, because like you were saying don't miss every that there is santa although we uh, i'm saying i'm something. saying i'm saying be, because something can be false in the in uh, uh pages example a model doesn't mean we should reject all models as false because they could be no false. yes i agree That's with you there well yes, you should i agree you, can you can't true. declare everything is false but you do need to have a little bit of common sense now that you're an adult and you know you've you just you've gone said out that of this child thing, page you just said that because a model can be false we should reject all models no that, i didn't that, say that I that's said exactly that what you said you said that you said that something false no, no she that. did not say that okay no, so who i can't said. believe you uh, just put those words in my okay, mouth so and that's not what i said right, that's what you said what i said it was is said. it is able that's to represent a fantasy as okay, well it is why what you said hold on hold on can we why are you making that hold on hold on let me get let me get clarity from page as to what she actually said, and you know, take it from there, please. I know go ahead. what she said. I want to know why she said, said it. Where is it going? Because it's true. I can make a Lego model of uh, something oh, well, I dreamt up in my much. head. Thank you very much for this Jim, pointless shut point. Shut up! Shut up, Jem. You well, just interrupted right. her because you. No, he's not. Both of you. That's not what Paige said. Yeah, it is she what she said. Say, no, they have to. No, they exactly have what to she change says. what I said okay, because what, what I she said was trying to, she was oh, trying correct. To, she was right. trying to. Uh, I want to hear what I want to hear what Travis has got to say and why he is offended by what you guys said. Then, right. go ahead, Travis. I, I I'm not going to. Think that we're dead, you're breaking but, up. But yeah, okay, never. Just carry on. Brenda yeah. asked. Brenda. Brenda asked Paige, um, "Do models represent reality?" Bre uh, Paige said they can, but they can yeah. also represent. A, a they can also, yeah, also represent. Yeah, imagination. Okay. The globe so what? model. Has, that's all she said. The, yeah, the globe model. And that's what I was represent. trying to say to you after that, Jem. Is now right. that you're grown up and you're an adult and you've got some critical thinking ability, I hope you might take another look. At these things that they just told you were oh, fact. really, Paige. Really, yes, really. You think I haven't looked. Well, we have. You think, mate, the yes, five years. I know you haven't. You think, you think the five years I've spent you hanging around just the before you hadn't looked. I, no, I did not. That's a lie. Yes, you did. Lie. You told me you hadn't lying. seen it. So that you, you said you hadn't no, seen that video. No. You hadn't heard anything about right. it. I hadn't seen that video. Is not the same as you haven't looked. Is it? They're two completely different things. So, so you agree that there may be information out there you haven't seen? Of course! And Don't be idiotic! I, okay. I'm not, I'm not so the fun to all knowledge, am I? To I'm yourself, do you owe it to yourself to look through that information? Do you have all anything, information Pete? everywhere? What, what are you talking about? If I mean, somebody is trying to help you and gives you an hour-long video to go and watch, do you owe it to yourself to watch it? No, no. because I know that your claim about it then is why absolutely... Are you here? 
Because I know... Uh, in Why this... are you here? You're oh, obviously you've just proven. You are not here to... Let Jim Pander answer as to why he wouldn't want to uh, to watch that hour-long video that might give him a, a change of his paradigm. Because I know that Paige is incorrect in what she said, and I'm not even going to waste yeah, my even time. even though he hasn't watched it. Oh, well, we he can just get... knows. Right, well, if you want to find the video, I'll show you right now that you're wrong. Randy put it up before. No, right, hold on. You right, find the place right. in the video. Or did he put up, or did he put up some it. other video that he thought might be that video because it said... No, 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 no he put up... I will, I will. I'll crop out, find I'll, I'll find place. out exactly the, the point, uh, the um, the part that's in question, yeah, and I'll find, find the, the exact... Place. I'll, right. I'll find out the exact... Yeah. Um, that video would be a good one to not, watch all together. Yeah, it's not our job. Thing. It's not Hold our on. job. I'll find out... Brenda, shut up. I'll find out the no. exact claims and I'll present it tomorrow so that we can, you know, maybe get some clarity on this and let's move yeah. the subject forward. Here. In the you meantime, can link me to the video, Ranty. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, go, I'll go and find, I'll find it now. In the meantime... Right, okay, so anyway... In the meantime, meantime uh, do you Gordon have any evidence? Given, uh, Super chat. Hold on, Brenda. Uh, it's sad, but it's true. We're at the point where there cannot be a single globe defender that is also, sorry, that is not also a liar. Ouch. And uh, again, and Jem is the best of the liars. Oops. Well, you okay. wait, if they, that person wants to tell me what lie I've told, go ahead. Name it. Okay, let me uh, find this. So it's called it? uh, Ranty. Hold do on you mind if I jump in for a moment, guys? Yeah, sure. So let me just tell you the name of the video. It's 10 Challenges for Flat Earth is Completed. Okay, and I believe it's part 7 and 8. Is that right? Uh, Dave wants balloon footage and eclipse review. Right, okay, so anyway, that's something different. But yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so I'll put that in the... I'll put it in Discord right now. They do a lot of... At, I'm talking about atmospheric things and stuff. I thought you might like that one, Renty. Well, this one was specifically... Kind of, this right, one was hey, hey Renty, new to the channel. Just let me know when it's a good... Good time to jump well, in, mate. I'm not sure video, how, the, um, how this actually the works. The rational Aussie. Uh, yeah, nice to have you in. Uh, Brenda wants to say something just now, then, uh, uh, then we'll, we'll specifically, bring you in. Specifically, the reason that Paige brought this up is it's going to tell us that the, 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 the Sophia project is going to show the same images as, as the Himarari. That's the, that's the thing in question. Yes. Yes, and yes. this video is going to show that. Yes. But Sophia is only infrared. Sophia and Himawari have the exact same telescope, identical. No, nope. that's not the no, question. That's don't. not the point in question that they have the same image. No, it's not the point in question. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, she's it is. But this guy's it saying no, it doesn't she's, have. She's backing Brenda, up. Will you she's tell backing me that, yes, up on her claim They are the same already. telescope. They are. She's, she's trying to back telescope. out of her claim already. She's already moving the goalposts. What? Right. What? Okay, when well, I just agree you with you. There's a, there seems to be a lot of, um, you know, debate here. How as the to fuck was I backing out of anything? Paige, Paige, let's, uh, let's come you back to this tomorrow. You weren't, Paige. You weren't. Well, you I didn't think, think I was. No, I said yes. Too. That is, yes. That's what I said, yes. And then she yeah. said, you're backing out. What? Yeah, the claim was... She's literally was, fucking the, insane. The claim okay, was is up, that they have Paige, the same Paige, images. They, in, they, they produce the same images. in one minute what your claim is. Page. So let me open one minute and we'll, we'll come back to it tomorrow. The, the photos they show coming from Sophia and Himawari come from the same source. They well, both the backtrack to the of... same source. See, she can't even let me make the claim, but then she's going to say I'm backtracking. Right, okay, you that's your claim, right? Okay, so I'll tell you what, tomorrow, listen guys, listen, tomorrow, that gives us plenty of time to go and, and research and check it all out and then come back with, instead of arguing about it right now because it's really getting nowhere. Oh, um, I want to bring the rational Aussie who has just joined. You had uh, you had something to say. Yeah, thanks, mate. Um, I understand these things get a bit heated, but just in terms of models uh, and Paige's comment about models representing fantasy or reality, I think the best way to assess a model is how well it represents reality and how well it predicts reality. So it's a, there's a pretty easy test that you can put to just about any scientific model, which is does it have predictive qualities and does it represent reality? I'd like to expand on that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they use the Saros cycle to predict, which was built from a flat Earth perspective. So. Okay, so let, let phase one, uh, phase one uh, expand on that and then, yeah, we'll take it from there.
a little bit, and I'm not getting into semantics with the gentleman that just talked about models, but we have to look at the word called represent, and it's actually called re-present, meaning there was an observation before, and then you create a model of that to represent it in your reality. So let's just say, remember back in, uh, I don't know, fifth grade, I'm not sure what you guys call it abroad, but, you know, 12 years old, you had science fairs and you put in some baking soda with with some vinegar and, and a little bit of orange fruit coloring and you had a volcano right and you won the science fair based upon an observation that you saw of a volcano that's how you created that that's a representation a representation model that's what that is that's so gem panda is gem panda yeah. still there i wanted to tell him something are you still there gem panda Oh, so okay, so what I'm going to predict, gonna, I'm going to make gonna a, be a part, if it's going to agree with the, if, if it's a part of that question, then then jump in, Brent. But if not, then you know, please let other people respond well, to that. I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction about this video, which I haven't seen. And it's going to what it's going to say is that both the Himawari and the Sophia project use the same type of camera, right? Isn't that right, Paige? They have the same telescope, yes. Yeah. But that's not what I said. That's 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 the whole of your point, though, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, then, what's additional additional to the fact that they use the same type of telescope? What what is your point? I said what my point was before. Are you deaf or stupid? You said that they come from the same okay. source, and the source is the, is the telescope. There's only one source. No. Anyway, I've checked the video. Both. I've checked the video, and it is, as I said, they're saying that it's uh, Sophia and Hubble that are uh, getting images from the same source, not Himawari, as I said. So, so I'm just. And that doesn't page. bother you. Uh, I don't think it's true. But, that's how. You know. That's how much. How, that's how paranoid she is, Jim. That's that's the level of. Okay, paranoia. right. So, so right then, okay, I'm not so right, the one who thinks the whole on. world lied to me, Brenda. Hold you on. did. Let me just let me just clarify. So, so it's clear that there was an, a, a mix up with with a couple of things, but there's no need to go bananas. I haven't. No, I'm talking to Brenda before she starts. Right. So there was questions posed. Uh, the rational Aussie came in. And phase one clarified. Do you want to answer that page? Sorry, did you did you say me? I, it's raining here. I can hardly hear. Yeah, the rational. I, I, I can reiterate if you like, Randy. Yeah, please, if you'd like to do that. So this this is this is to page. Um, when we're talking about models, wh where would you point me when I when I'm asking for a um, I guess the the, the flat Earth model? What, what what would you point me to um, for me to to investigate and um, to research when it comes to actual flat earth modeling. What, what sort of flat earth model has predictive qualities and shows reality? Where, where would you point me to sort of begin that, that, um, that investigation? Well, I think our problem started when we started believing that a model was reality. So I wouldn't point you to a model at all. What I would say is to relook at all the claims of the ball you don't need to be a flat earther to be globe sceptical. And that is my whole point. Nobody Take thinks... another look at the ball. See, she cannot, cannot be a human being. She's an animal. Can't control herself. I thought you were done. I, I, guess, I guess my point is if, if you don't have a No, I was in the middle of a sentence, you dumb fuck. With flat Earth, well, actually, he um, was in the middle of a sentence. And we have a predictive him. model for the globe. I'm just Shut up, Render. Shut yes. up. And the yeah, predictive model for your globe. Sort of predictive model for the, Flat Earth that, that shows our reality. Because we, we have the predictive a predictive model for your globe uses the Saros cycle, darling. That's done on no. a Flat Earth. No, it doesn't. They take... Everything, everything from the past was done on a flat Earth. No, it wasn't. Uh, the zero That's cycle false. doesn't take either model into account. It's purely statistics, how often it occurred. And, and also, nobody thinks that models are reality, Paige. Nobody thinks that. Well, except for flat Earthers. You do. Where did the observation come from to no, create the heliocentric model?
standing on the ground looking at the sky. <laughs> okay, what about standing on the ground looking at the ground? Well, that as well. Not just That's looking well. at it, not just looking at it, but measuring it. Okay. How were these measurements taken? A geodetic with surveying. With instruments. No, 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 no. We're talking about the original heliocentric model. Uh, well, various ways. I mean, you, you, know, you know, Eratosthenes and... Um, yeah, those are those are straight uh, what's angles. Known? Those are straight angles and distances. So yeah. no curvature yeah, there. That's trigonometry. Yeah. Yes. It, it, yes. Geometry. Yeah. Straight well, lines. Well, then we have some sort of dodecahedron Earth, then maybe because they were on on uh, if level Earth at different angles. So. Well, Jim, you're coming around. It could be a dodecahedron. It could very well could not, be. Well, it's not very flat. What's not flat? Water? The Earth is not flat. The, the dodecahedron Earth that you're proposing. No, no, no. You proposed it. I didn't propose it. <laughs> yes, you did. You brought it up. <laughs> well, I brought it up, but I'm certainly not proposing it. Yes, yeah, so you proposed it. Well, it, as, a, as a possible... Isn't Earth like 70% water and... Oh, God. You know, water's yeah. flat. <sighs> so where does the curve start? All does of it the start behind curved. Nat Geo's bit of paper? All, 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 of before the water it. Is, all of the water is curved, Paige. How are you five? Can you prove that? Well, I think there are tests that yes, you can do. we have evidence. Do you but, have any evidence that the Earth is... Yeah, the there is. Levels. I think there's Water a. Levels. Oh, I thought you were talking about your mental age. Oh, okay, well, it's probably, yeah, yeah, we can measure it, and it has been measured. How did they measure it, Jim? Geodetic surveying. How was that optically? Optically? Well, it involves optics, yes. Cool. <laughs> Measurements do. So, what happens when you optically see further than you should? Well, what you do is you take repeated measurements. You take them from high points so that you get yourself out of a lot of the atmosphere. And, you know, you average out between your repeated measurements. And then you look back down through. So it's an average. It's not. Where is, the, where is no. the flat earth model? Where is the flat earth model? And where are your measurements? And where are your observations? Shut up, Brenda. We're having a conversation. Shut up. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good point. Where are your measurements? Well, besides the fact that we no, can, no, no, we can no, no. give do you a model with water on it, and do you can't even do that. No, no, I was asking you because you claimed you that it had measured. You said that you had claimed measurement of Earth curve, and I was oh, asking you how it's did... been measured yeah. thousands and thousands of times over about the last 300 years. Of course it's been measured. Can that you point me to whole... There's no measurable curvature anywhere. Can you it's point me to a book? That you can guys you, made up. Can you point me to a book? Or uh, I can, a, yes, I can. Of course. I can, I can point you to yes. MC to MC they Toon. It. MC yes, Toon. of course. MCTune.com. MCTune.com. Geodesic surveys. MCTune. You mean, you mean McToon? Yeah, yeah MC McToon. McToon.com. Yeah. His webpage. His webpage. Yeah, yeah. McToon. He's, he's got yeah. a section on it. The last time they calculated it. it. On geodesic uh, surveys, he's got a lot of information there. About a week and a half ago, um, it didn't go well for you guys because you didn't take uh, these surveyors don't take anything into account other than yeah, the plain our surveyors uh, survey in real life, and then they give them <laughs> the geodetic surveys do the math and wrap it around a ball. That's just they don't not do, true. It's plain our surveyors that actually do the out in the real world uh, surveying. Not true. What's well, not true? That the planar surveyors wrap their uh, surveys around the ball. I didn't say planar not surveyors do said. that. Not what she said. See, when I talked to Jesse Kowalski, it didn't go well for him. He <laughs> he presents images on his website, a bit like what you just told me to go to McToons for, and he says this is ten proofs. Uh, ten proofs at uh, ten um, 
observations showing the curve or something like that. Or, yeah, have you, have, uh, you debunked those? Those have you debunked those? I um, went and I asked him, um, actually, um, in any of those observations, did he do anything other than just take an image? Uh, so what, what you did was you came up with a creative way of saying, I don't believe you. No, I just asked him, what other things did you do other than just take an image? What else would he do um, than he take just an, took image? an image? What else would you do well, besides well, taking an You told an me image? it was measured. You said it was measured and the earth curve was measured. And I said, well, what happens when you see too far? What, then what you went into else this would other, you do other, but take an thing. image? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, then you God, went Brenda, this, shut then you went up. This other mode of saying that you need to go higher and take observations and it's yeah. repeated over many different times. Well... The surveyor that I talked to, this Jesse Kozlowski guy, didn't do any of that. He just snapped right. an image. Yeah, what else would you do? You don't you just completely ignored what I've said. No, you? but what else would you do besides take an image? Yep. What else would you do? Ignored what I've said. What else well, would you I do? Just completely ignores. Is it true to say he just took an image? What you're saying is he just went out with a camera, took a photo, came back and said the Earth's curve. That's basically your claim. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's well, not what happened. What, what precisely did he do, Randy? Because he didn't just take an image, did he? Oh no, he had um, what else did he? He had um, a leveler to the right. to the building. Okay. And he took, and he took measurements, didn't he? And he, he was there, and he, and he what? He could, it, so he probably took two images, right? Compared one with another. No, no, no. no. He had he a just of, wait a minute. He had physical obstruction by water in the way and clearing right. the earth curve. Okay. So, what's wrong with that? Well, what would have happened, like, and uh, there are other people that go to those... Right, but that that isn't hold on, hold on, hold on. That hold isn't on. a geodetic survey, though, is it? No, but when he's claiming it's earth curve, that's the difference, you see. Right, now, but that isn't a geodetic on. survey. We're talking hold about on. geodetic surveying. No, I'm talking about Jesse Kozlowski. Right, no, well, he's a geodetic about. surveyor that has taken an image. Well, but, I'm talking but about. We're, but we're talking there. about the process of geodetic surveying and how that is measurement. And I wasn't talking about that. I was talking. Oh, no, you about are. Like, what you're trying to do is say that. Yes, you're telling him what he's talking about. Yes, no, that, shut up. That is. When that's I spoke subject. to him, I now, found out that he could. He did nothing other whatsoever than take right, an image. So what? That's not geodetic surveying. That's something else. So, hold on though. But you guys, you you hold this guy up to with a lot of esteem and you point us to him and you, he he's a geodetic surveyor he's a successful and he takes an image now i tell you what so he no, no, hold on hold on hold on this is what you're describing and i'm a painter and decorator gem and i right. go out and i film from shore to shore 18 miles 20 miles 24 miles yeah. shore to yeah. shore gem painter yeah. and decorator I had the, had I had the same equipment as him yeah. with the same crosshairs on the centre, I would have also been able to line it up to those buildings in the distance. Well, so you so prove you for globe globe over over. Over. You Let me friend this up. So hold on. So so I would have taken the crosshairs, placed it at the top of those buildings, taken the image, come back, and I would have said the same thing that Jesse would have said, except mine would have showed shore to shore. That you had well. That Which remains... one would have been the correct one, Jim? Well, well, if that happened, then we would have... I don't know which one would be the correct one. However, that has... <laughs> you just don't well, want to talk about it. Well, look, hold on. Can I answer? Don't see that's what you know, It's did. definitely time for you to speak, Paige, because I've said two words, so speak. It, Jim, it, no, this it's is all a... right. God, what is it's wrong It's okay. With you, Calm man? down. Stop speaking when I'm speaking, then. Okay? It's all right. Help it. It's not, it. it's not all right. It's rude and annoying. It's not all right. And you do it too. So don't worry it about it. Make it, it. Right. If that oh, happened, on go on. If that happened, Ramsey, we'd have a decision to make. But that hasn't happened. And I don't think that would happen. You're just saying it would. What? So I wouldn't have seen it. So you've seen the videos optically through the camera, the same as what Jesse has. Right, Are you but, telling so me that the, the crosshairs would not have lined up? Look, the argument was about whether the Earth had been measured, whether geodetic surveying that. measured the Earth. What you're doing now is saying, because Please, this right. geodetic surveyor took this particular picture in a certain way, therefore all geodetic surveying 
is wrong. No, no, that, I'm saying uh, the argument. No, I don't I'm care saying, about. I don't care level, about. I don't uh, care about this. Why are you making his argument for him? Well, because yes. why don't you let him make his argument? Well, he has made that argument. That this is no, the argument he he's hasn't. making. All right. Well, what's the point of this? Well, let let's him talk, and you well, might let's just say. Oh, let's all just say Jesse Kozlowski is completely useless at ed everything he does. Now then. The geodetic I'm surveying glad you measurement. Said that, Jim. Well, we, we can we can agree it for the purposes of this argument. The geodetic surveying measurements that we were previously talking about still exist. Now, what are you going to do? The, the the point is, when Al Baruni did this, how did he know what day to go and measure his geometric horizon? Well, if it I, moves. Every day, if you can see different amounts depending on, you know, what the weather's like, what the temperature is, all that kind of stuff, how you can't then determine a 7 over 6 R when you don't have an R value yet. Right. Yes, you can. Trying okay. to get yes, you can. The I can R respond value. to that if you like. Okay. First of all, what Al Baruni did was he measured the angle to the horizon. And as we know, Although the horizon does move up and down according to refraction, that and is, back and forth. Let me finish. That that and he isn't measuring the distance to the horizon. This is very important. So the back and forth doesn't make any difference. All he's measuring is an angle to the horizon, and that and so the horizon may. And what does that angle let me give finish. you? Let me finish. The so. Although the horizon may move up and down, that isn't going to make a very big change to that angle. And furthermore, he then makes a calculation from that angle, angle using cosine, which would make that difference even smaller. So although he cannot be entirely 100% accurate because of the effects of refraction, he can be accurate to within... A, a decent. Uh, uh, let me finish. Nearly there. Nearly there, Paige. The nearly there. Nearly there. He can be accurate to within a, within a certain degree of a, a certain degree of accuracy. However, Al Biruni was a thousand years ago. We've measured the Earth many, many, many times since then using a whole load of different methods that are a lot more accurate than Al Biruni. It was a thousand years ago. I will ago. actually agree with that, yeah. We found it's not curved at all. It's no, flat. we have found it's okay. curved. Oh, well, well, show us your measurements. Right, let's near, let's near, uh, yeah. Greg. We're no, we're we're a laser here. across a lens yeah. isn't yeah. a measurement. Jem, yeah, Jem Panda. Right, so Godzilla's following up from Rather his earlier angle. And he says... Uh, yes, it is. He He's said... That moves. Guys, will you shut up? Sorry. I'm talking. Crying Sorry. out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ranty, but obviously, um, right, right. measuring an angle is a measurement. Right, listen. Godzilla's following up because you said to him, name one, right? So he said, it's been measured thousands and thousands of times. There's one, Gem, that was easy. That was pointing out when you had lied, because you said to me... You said, well, it has. But, uh, it has been measured thousands and thousands it's of been, times. It's not a lie. You can go. You can, can go you and look at this. the thousands of times that it's been measured. Yes, of course. Where do you think can, all these geodetic you, survey? How do you think they were done? Can you provide it for me to, by tomorrow? Go to MC. Provide what? What? You, uh, no, you no. Honest? Just, just Al Baruni. Just do Al Baruni. Provide what? The thousands and okay, thousands. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Just real quick. Hold on. You. Oh. Je, hold on, Jam. Hold on. Just real quick. You were very detailed as to what Al Baruni did. Do you have right. any primary sources for that, please? Thank you. Well, I don't. I don't care. Page brought Al Baruni up. If you want to, if you want to, dis totally. No, no. Dis you're the on. one. You're Hang the on. one that was getting us a very no, page specific. Brought Al yes, Baruni because up. Page because Page brought him up. If you want to say that Al Baruni was a a, a, a gay uh, nutcase who didn't know anything, I don't care. It doesn't make any difference to my life. We don't. We're not reliant upon somebody who took a measurement a thousand years ago to know the shape of the earth. Don't be silly. That's just some nonsense that Nathan Oakley's telling you. Well, why do you guys still use it as an example? If it doesn't matter. If it's, it's an immaterial. example. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an example. I don't think it's a particularly good one because it uses the horizon and 
normally when we make these measurements, we don't use the horizon. One I like to use is the French Spanish geodetic mission. That was a you were just it's a very interesting story, and it's how we de deduced that the Earth was an oblate spheroid and not a perfect sphere, is because we you went and measured it. You were just defending the use of the horizon. Now you're saying that Al Bruni um, isn't that good because he uses the horizon. I'm saying I think there's more accurate ways good of Lord. doing it than Al Bruni's method, but I was explaining why Al Bruni's method isn't as inaccurate as you guys like to present it to be. Yeah, it isn't fallacious. Yeah, but listen, the, the question that I have again, you said he used cosine. Can you show me that citation, please? Uh, no, I can't. And I may even be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's cosine he uses. Hey, Jim, were you able to find on the Himawari images where they say it's a composite or a uh, full photo? Oh, yeah, I was on that site. Hang on. Hey, Jim, it's face now, one, the guy to... that, uh, sorry, Travis, it's, it's face one, the guy that did say or ask if the Himawari took a shot of the backside of the moon and you and Brenda corrected me. So I do stand corrected. I'm not too humble to admit that. And I appreciate your info. No um, worries, mate. By the way, Jim Panda, he does use cosine. It's R equals H cos alpha over 1 minus cos alpha. Great. Where's that primary source, okay. Brenda? But again, Travis, I mean, you Wikipedia. can chase this, the tail of this one if you want, but I don't care. We, like I say, it was a thousand years You're ago. You're making a claim. All, all I'm asking for you to well, do is justify your claim. All right, well, I'll just concede that I'm completely wrong and I just made up Al Baruni. But I'm I not just, coming after you right now. I'm coming really, after Brenda because uh, Brenda well, just What difference said, does it make? Where does this go? What's the point? Because you're just parroting a story. You have all no right, citation. All right, okay. You have no complete sources. bollocks. All right, it's complete bollocks. It's completely and uh, totally and utterly made up. Okay? What does that change? Nothing. No, it, it's still... It, it, it does not change anything in terms of our criticism of your model because you still have to impose R for which you have no measurement. Oh, you think that the only measurement that's ever been, the, we've established the radius of the Earth purely no, by Al Biruni a thousand years ago, and that no, was it. No, no, right. I'm saying have that. We, all right, have we, it that all? have we no, measured it since? Have we measured it? No. So, so you are saying that we only did it through Al Biruni a thousand years ago? No, he about didn't what even... you're measuring. Have we done it? Have we measured the Earth since Al Biruni a thousand years ago? Okay, Come on. Now you're, yeah, you're asking you a different question. You can say it. No, no, it's the same yeah, question. Asking a you're different asking question. a different it's exactly question. exactly the same question. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. How is it different? Don't answer. Because Don't answer my color. Earth, because geometry color. is angles and distance, not radius. Oh, did you well, want that source, Travis? That's how that's how geodetic surveying just is done. put it in the right. uh, just put Angles it in the side distance. chat, please. Uh, it's it's the International Journal of Sciences, December. Just of put it in the two, side chat, please. I'm not going to remember December anything. I am not going to remember anything that you said. Just put it in the side chat. Well, please. then, I, if you're just not going to pay any attention, I don't know why I'd look for I'm you. I'm driving right now, Brenda. I'm not. My God, Brenda, why did you ask the for the original right. source? This one shows you the full image, but. I'm trying to find the, I'm sure there's another site with, where you can get to all the different data sets. Ah, let's see the data. This must be it. Anyway, sorry, I'm talking aloud. Oh, shit, it's in Japanese. I'm taking lessons from George. Right, so do the flat earthers have any evidence for the earth being flat? That would be lovely. Yes. Wouldn't that be lovely? Okay. Oh, yes. God, no. Present it, you, please. Now look what you've done, Brenda. I know. It's See, yes, that would that, be that, lovely. Uh, oh, God, no. <laughs> now look what you've done. Like, Jim, which one just, is it, Jim? You linked me to the uh, Himawari website, but I don't see on there where it tells me if it's a composite or an No, I'm not, uh, I'm not finding where the data sets are at the moment for some reason. Okay. All right. 
What is the best case? I think case, there's another uh, site somewhere. What is the best case for the Earth being flat? The best evidence? One, no detective motion. Two, no measurable curvature. Three, the alternative explanation for boats <laughs> disappearing over the curvature oh. is due 100% to refraction and not Earth curves. So no, I was, asking right for I was asking for evidence. You didn't give me evidence. You said no. Okay. Give me evidence. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving right now, so I'm giving you verbal evidence. You can go on no. my channel. In fact, I just had a premiere today. It's only 10 minutes. It's a 10-minute premiere where I go over the ether band in 10 minutes. Uh, so saying band, something doesn't do something isn't evidence for something. I didn't say something doesn't. I said that there is positive evidence for an alternative explanation, and that mm -hmm. is 100% refraction. So I'm giving a positive claim for under okay. that. That's according to Travis. So that was just literal words. Yeah, knowledge. that's right. That's right. I'm your Copernicus. Right. Welcome to the revolution. That's right. <laughs> no, you haven't shown anything. I, I, need, I need real evidence. I need actual Brenda, evidence. Brenda, go away. Go away if you're going to be a dishonest, lying piece of smurf, okay? But you're the lying. one that's pretending you're going to be Copernicus. Oh, it's not, pre it's not pretense by any no, stretch of the imagination. I I'm it not is. lying. Oh, it, is, just... oh, it isn't. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's a professor. For hey, one guys, we're five, hours, we're five hours in, so... Uh, well, I'm it's thinking... not long enough. We want <laughs> It's long... certainly long enough. <laughs> 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 but I'm thinking around up, so... Uh, yeah, I was going to ask well, maybe, thoughts, maybe but someday, a Ranty, Let's go for it. <laughs> Ranty, maybe, go someday, may, maybe someday you could present uh, evidence for Flat Earth... Because your latest thing with the with the tank and the sugar water proves the globe Earth. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. It actually wow. does. It actually You've does. You've got to stop doing that, Ranty. Stop uh, proving yeah. the globe. <laughs> okay. All of your videos uh, do that. Right, the, latest, so I'm gonna... the latest one shows looming. It shows looming, Ranty. Right, Brenda. So your final thoughts then? I, I assume that's your final thoughts on My, my final on this thoughts show today. are... There's not a single shred of evidence for the Earth being flat, and the fact that flat Earthers now deny being flat and say they're just globe deniers shows that flat Earth is dead. No, I'm oh, shows that. Did you just cross your on. arms? Let me go down the. Let me go down the list. <laughs> Core blimey, uh, I haven't heard from you, but if you want to hype up and say final thoughts. <laughs> 